Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to UCF Death Knights versus Average Joes, one of the matches of the week here for Division A, uh, and we're going to go ahead and check out why in just a second. We've got, oops, I have, oh my god, uh, never mind. Uh, we're going to see why, though. We, uh, both these teams are doing very well in Division A, uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you the standings right now. Uh We've got Division A East here with uh, Average Joes here in third place. If you look there at number three, they are 3-0 and undefeated, uh, although they have less games than their opponents in the division. So uh, they don't have as much uh, as many points. So they're they're looking to catch up on two games this week. Uh, so the way we do round robins, teams are a little bit behind. But if they get a win here, they remain undefeated and they rise above Game Freaks. Uh, who are 3-1-1. One, and one. Now, this is against the UCF Death Knights, however, who are number six. They're down at 2-0-2. Oh, and, and you may be asking why this is, in fact, the match of the week. Uh, and it's because uh, UCF Death Knights actually went up uh, against a Greek economy uh, at what point... Um, uh, average just has not yet a Greek economy easily the best team in the division right now they are undefeated 5-0 and 0 as you saw um, and I have my cell phone going off telling me uh, it's time to meet my cell phone uh, <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna deal with that for a second but going into this uh, both these teams look really strong UCF death nets I expect to be competitive in this match and we're gonna go ahead and take a look uh, at some of these uh, 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 teams here, starting with UCF Death Knights. Uh, we saw them face Crisis Management there, which is number four, and they played excellently against them. So I expect UCF Death Knights to start rising in the standings. So let's take a look why. We're going to look at the match here between UCF Death Knights and Crisis Management. Uh, I do believe it was on uh, Infernal Shrines. We're going to see uh, an uh, engagement here on Infernal Shrines, and make sure to watch Snipe. Uh, in the in the bottom corner as Hanzo as the team engages here. Uh, so we've got uh, UCF Death Knights in the blue here. Um, we've got Snipe looking for uh, something. DeLorean comes in and shoots in a uh, a missed Leyline Seal and Snipe gets a four-man stun onto everybody, stopping the engage off the APOC hold. They easily clean up the team fights and uh, they take this lead and they snowball it all the way to the end. And we're going to take a look here uh, at a uh, fight towards the end of this match after this clip ends. Um, we're going to see here at the end, it's a very crazy team fight. We see Rook caught way out here, but Johanna's got enough health uh, and they're able to back off. Uh, meanwhile, Diablo is way out in front here, and we see Red Conscript just going in on Jazz's here on this Diablo. Uh, Red Conscript uh, sees his attack and goes all in, just barely dodging the Leyline Seal, and they get the Diablo pick. However, Diablo does have souls, and he's going to be right back, so they do have to worry. Their health bars are starting to get low as uh, the enemy team pops. Uh, all oh, the cooldown, but on the way, Diablo gets dismounted, and UCF Death Knights see that, and they use this opportunity to go all in, pop the Warden's Cage, finish the fight. Diablo gets here too late. They take the Punisher. If they hadn't noticed Diablo get uh, dismounted there, they could have easily lost that fight and the game. Uh, and then, so now going into uh, looking at Average Joe's in there, and their game against Red Rockets uh, was fantastic. Uh, they played excellently well. They're able to punish them for a, in a lot of ways. So let's take a look at the first clip here. Uh, we've got Average Joe's on the red here, being zoned out, but a junk rat mine on the Stupa. He's able to find a kill immediately. The Stupa put his silence down. I'm going to go ahead and play that again after this clip here. Uh, watch. Uh, the Stukov and Ector, he puts a silence up right there and we see a mine goes off and sends him into the back line. Immediately, uh, Ector is mined there by a random cast attacks. 1k gets the kill immediately. So, uh, taking a look at the second clip here, we're going to watch, uh, Tax here on this replay. Uh, watch, this is from the Tracer's point of view. He tries to get a kill, but she has the blinks away. She still has a recall. 
Uh, now this is from uh, Real Murphy's point of view. Pax is going to see another opportunity here as Tracy steps up. He goes in, gets the flip, and deleted before she even hit recall. So that's the sort of scary power of Diablo coming out from Tax 1K and Average Joe's in this matchup. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. And the first map we go to is Battlefield of Eternity, and this map is the choice of Average Joes. They won the coin toss, so they uh, get uh, to pick the first map, and so this is where they're going to take us. And it's going to be the same as their previous match, actually. Average Joes played Red Rockets on BOE and Dragonshire. So Dragonshire will be our second map picked by UCF Death Knights. We're just going to make sure the teams are still ready after that uh a uh, little interlude there. We do have an R from both teams. We're going to go ahead and get started. Go right into Battlefield of Eternity. Battlefield of Eternity. Okay, we're going to see just what they uh, pick here. Uh, the Division A meta has been pretty solid. Uh, we've got Garrosh, Phoenix, Maev, uh, Johanna, Medivh, all being very popular picks here. So, um, oh, geez. Oh, my God. I don't have my delay on. All right. I don't have my stream set right. All right. Let me gonna fix this. We're not going to miss a thing. Okay, we're going to see Garrosh ban out immediately here. Okay, we're going to update the title here, and we're going to go ahead and um, I will be right back. I'm not sure if this will turn the stream delay on. No, it will not turn the stream delay on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and restart the stream. You're going to have to wait two minutes here uh, behind me. Uh, I was so wondering why uh, people were responding so quickly. All right, um, so stay with us. You're going to still catch the whole game, uh, but uh, it's just going to be delayed a little bit. <laughs> 